Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Remote. I am your host, Attack Slug, at a staggering 96% with a pay-per-view on the card today. It is No Way Out in Los Angeles, California. And hey, we might hit a hundo today. We might hit GM of the Year today. But in case we don't, let's check the roster. JTG is fatigued for some unknown reason. I don't understand why or how he got that fatigued, but he's still working that tag team title match. I'm pretty sure today, otherwise that feud will drop and we can't have that. Otherwise, Ray is at four and it goes down from there. But who is unsatisfied? Big Willie Regal. He has the need for the gold, whatever. Also, contractually, we got Edge, Cena, and Ray are out of here soon. So, that means that Edge, Cena, and Ray can get some money. And of course, we're this close to Mania, so more than a five-week deal at this point is kind of dumb because we're just about done here with this game. No point in signing a three-month deal this close to Mania. That's kind of insane, or it would be insane for anybody, but... We keep on keeping on with now three point something in the bank, three point four mil in the bank on our deal there. Our ongoing three rivalries. We got Regal and uh, Booker. We got Edge and Stone Cold should be ending in two weeks. And we have our tag team ending in like two weeks. So we are so close to that magical 13 weeks for that increase in our GM of the Year percentages. That is the plan. But current champions is Batista, Stone Cold, myself, and Jeff Hardy, Triple H. So let's go book some business for No Way Out on pay per view. We have one, two, three, four, five matches to book, right? This feud is done. So this match does not need to get booked whatsoever. No way, no how. But we do have a U.S. title opportunity with Stone Cold versus The Edgester. So U.S. title will be headlining this show. It will indeed be last man standing match between Edge and Old Stone Cold. And I'm going to have to play as Edge to make sure Old Stone Cold retains that title. So... Elsewhere, we have our tag team titles, and we're going to hope that nobody gets hurt, namely JTG, because we need to have that feud continue here and not get dropped from not having it on the card. It must continue, injury or no injury, it must hit that 13-week benefit for our ratings and such. So, that means we got Jeff Hardy, that means we got... Triple H uh, the game uh, defending those tag team titles. The question is now who is in contention for that world title? On our power 25 we have in contention Edge and that's it. So we cannot have our world title on this show because Edge is already working Stone Cold for that US championship. So that's kind of is what it is. I can't help that. Unfortunately at No Way Out. So that one we can't do, which means there will be no world title on the line right now. But we have one feud, we have two feuds, we have three feuds. Let's change this deal here into a ultimate submission match with those two, because why not? Let's make our main event not Last Man Standing. No, no, no. If we have Hell in a Cell, we're going to use Hell in a Cell. Pay-per-view is called No Way Out of the Cell. So that one with such low fatigue should work out for me tremendously. Uh, I would hope. I would hope. But we also want to book a multi-man matchup here. We got plenty of multi-mans. Steel Cage Triple Threat for these individuals. Fatal 4-Way. It will be Batista, CM Punk, Attack Slug, and Rey Mysterio. Now, we can't go hardcore here because, because 
uh, of the fact that it is indeed Ray with that fatigue. But what we can do, instead of being hardcore, we can do a fatal four-way battle royal. So a four-man battle royal, Batista, CM Punk, Attack Slug, and Rey Mysterio on that deal there. Keep things changing up just a little bit if we can. So, ultimate submission, Regal and King, Book, Cena, MVP, HBK, Steel Cage, Batista, Slug, Punk, Mysterio in that battle royal. Tag team titles, normal. And then Edge and Stone Cold for that U.S. Championship. Hell in a cell. That being said and done, confirm the card. No way out. Let's go. Regal in a book. Regal taps out John Cena, MVP, HBK. Who escapes the cage? It is HBK. Battle Royal. Who is the last man standing in this Battle Royal? It is CM Punk. Best in the world. Tag team titles. Please no injuries. Please, please, please. And crime time once again. Your tag team champions. And now, hell in a cell at no way out. And I'm playing as Edge just to be 100% sure that I don't win this matchup. If we have to take the title off of Stone Cold, who is in line for a shot having won the Rumble at WrestleMania, if this show goes to WrestleMania, right, then I would take that belt off of him the week before WrestleMania because otherwise he might get upset and leave the brand and we can't be having that. It's just not a good thing because that would make us look very bad in terms of Raw and ECW that SmackDown lost their number one contender for the title uh, the right before Mania when he is indeed contending for a world shot, a world title shot at the grandest stage of them all. But meanwhile, we are here at No Way Out. It is hell in a cell. And Stone Cold needs to stun Edge out of his boots with that stack of dimes he calls a neck and get this one a finito. Because honestly, this might be the end here if this game ends when you hit 100%. I don't know for sure. I have not looked it up. I am completely in the dark. So whatever happens is going to happen here and give me a hell yeah. So this could be the final episode. I don't know. Or we can go until Mania. Either way, whatever, I'm here to do it. But what that ends up being at the end of the day, at the end of the episode here, is uh, going to be news to me. So hey, perhaps we'll hit 99 and not 100. That could happen as well. Because I don't know what unlocks what percent. I'm not sure what it's going to be here if we get another 5-star pay-per-view. I don't know at this point anything. And it's the end of the year and it's whatever. So we'll do what we got to do here on this show today. So here's to ya. You sorry piece of trash. All we can do is hope that no one gets hurt here as the door locks in hell in the cell. So no way out of the cell, old Stone Cold. There's no way out of this for the edge as we get down and walk it dry. There's the mud hole. He's walking it dry. But can we, should we, would we deal with... All right, look. I'll be here forever. If I let, let, the, if I let this computer keep punching, I'll be here forever. So we must headbutt Stone Cold at some point. But otherwise, we want a finish. We want a pinfall. We want to end the matchup. And the CPU loves going to the top and dropping that elbow. There is the sound. I heard the ding, even with no HUD. Can we see a stunner here? Stunner to Edge. Now, will he pin me off a stunner? I'm hitting no buttons here. None. Zero. No, he goes to the top to hit another elbow. I don't get why they do that. What is the computer's major malfunction? Why is the AI so just nonsense? I love the fingers, though, and then the punch. Great. It's great right? But also, you have me on the mat here, Steve. Like, you are the ringmaster, Steve. So, why don't you just pin Edge? I'm not going to kick out. We're here to make sure you retain that U.S. title. And sure, 
I could have played a Stone Cold here and done it that way, but to be absolutely, absolutely sure, come on, hit, left, trigger, left. All right, so you let it go. It's fine. Work in the face, work in the knee, and again, the ding. How about not doing that, Stone Cold? Just seriously. Okay, enough. We get it. And a headlock. And he locked in his fighting style. And he goes to the top to drop another elbow. Give me a hell yeah for the elbow. Blue collar working man. All right, what are we doing here, Steve? Do you want there? Look at that. A pinfall. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get here in this game, on this show, on a Monday. I don't know. And now we just cross our fingers that JTG did not get injured upon winning those tag team titles. And we hope for the best. But if he got injured and we're at 100%, that's fine. Like, I just want that hundo and hit that GM of the year on this deal and see what it does from there. But Austin is very thrilled to have retained that U.S. title. Okay, that concludes No Way Out. I got an achievement for 350G. This year's inductee. Welcome to my general manager of the year ceremony. I decided to make it a little more informal this year. As you know, I reward good business, not good intentions. You know what happens with undesirable cargo, don't you? It's jettisoned. So I've decided that you were successful enough to stay on board. Congratulations. You are the general manager of the year. Looks like you get to hold on to your job for now. Now get the hell out of my sight before I change my mind. Careful, Teddy, careful, Teddy. And then we get the end credits. So yes, thank you for hanging out with my very weird and wonderful GM mode for 2008. Obviously, next year, we have 2K22 happening with the return of GM mode. And you'll see me here at some point in March doing that thing on this channel. And uh, all right then. So we'll see what happens here if I get to the end of the credits. I want to know, was there an injury there, like, with... Crime time, like, what was the rating for that show? Like, what were the stars? Like, that information I would like to know. Instead of just, hey, no, you hit 100 and you're done. Which is fine, but at the same time, like, I want some more information. So, we'll get to the end of the thing here, the credits, and we'll see what we see at that. Now loading, saving content, and that seems to be the end of our 24-7 GM mode. They just kick you out. You're just done to the curb, and it's... Over. Unless I can hit continue. There it is. The GM of the year. 100%. And indeed, Edge got injured for three weeks. Right? We can keep going. Until Mania. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.